Happy Sunday, bird watchers. It's Robin with Creativity RV, and today is going to be my final video, at least of this year on YouTube. It's going to be really casual. I just want to tell you guys what's going on and where I'm going and what you can see coming up next. And I'm going to tell you about that time that the media reported that I was murdered and stuff, which is why I feel like I have to put a video like this out. So this has been an amazing, crazy year for me. I have been on YouTube for five years and yay, I just hit 300,000 subscribers, which I thought would never happen. I mean, I remember when I had 87, 88, 89 and um, people that had 3,000 I thought were amazing and I thought, well, how did they do that? That just seems impossible. Well, five years later, I've done hundreds of videos um, and have loved every minute of it. I've met so many of you on the road and um, have kind of busted my ass. And so every year around this time, I take a break. By the way, some of the more savvy people, don't do it, who watch this channel, I noticed in the comments, don't do it, last week, noticed a bell ringing in the distance and wanted to know if I got a kitten. So let's hope we don't knock the whole thing down here. Come here, boo-boo. This guy is Bailey. He is three months old and he had his first vet appointment today where he puked and had diarrhea all over everything, his carrier, over the vet's office, and he was a nightmare. So um, he wants to knock everything down, I know. So I'm gonna see if he'll go down there and play, if you hear something. But that happened, I hit 300,000, and now I'm gonna take a break. He's playing with my foot. So, like I said, every year around this time, I take a break from YouTube, and it's usually about six weeks, and during that time, it's not that I'm not working. Normally, I am busting my butt trying to get something out, like the book, Be a Nomad, Change Your Life, or the book, uh, Work From Home While You Roam, The Ultimate Guide to Jobs That Can Be Done From Anywhere. There's an update coming on that one next week, so I'll tell you more about that in a minute, or a TEDx talk. So I tend to bury the break at the end of a video, and now I know you guys don't watch that long sometimes, and so... Um, now I'm putting it up front because I have to tell you about this crazy story that happened to me about three or four years ago. So I was camping in my fifth wheel out in the desert in Arizona or California, California, because I had an old friend of mine text me, you know, those friends you've had for 20, 30, 40 years that only text you when somebody dies. And she said, where are you? And I said, California. And she said, are you okay? And I said, yeah, why? And without any warning at all, she sent me this screenshot. Well, you can only imagine what it's like to see your face on a news story that says you were murdered. My friend said that somebody reached out to her on Facebook and said, you know Robin Barrett, right? And she said, yeah. And the person said, well, I heard she was stabbed. So my friend went right over to Google and Googled me and saw that image. And this is what happened. There was a woman from Colorado, just like me, named Robin Barrett, just like me. We even had the same middle initial. And she was, I think, five years older than I was at the time. And when the police finally revealed her name to the press as being Robin Barrett, all I could figure out when I traced it back was there was maybe a gun violence memorial on Facebook that was asking for pictures of Robin Barrett. And so, of course, somebody finds my picture on the internet and puts it up and then all of the news channels rolled with that. So when I went on Google, you know, back a few years ago when this happened and I Googled myself, the top like five stories from all these different news outlets, excuse me, um, were saying Robin Barrett murdered in a domestic violence murder suicide. Well, I was on my break. So a lot of viewers were Googling me to see where I was. And I was getting emails going, I just read that you were murdered. Please tell me that you're alive. So I wrote back to each and every one of those people to tell them I was okay. And, you know, and I called my boyfriend at the time and my mom and my good friends to give them the heads up that this was happening. And, you know, I could have done a video to let everybody know that that happened, but I felt like it was really disrespectful to the, the other Robin. And so I just really didn't say anything. Um, I think I mentioned it in a view queue, uh, a viewer question video, um, maybe a couple of years later, but I haven't really talked about that. But now I know 
that when I go on a break from YouTube, like I am right now, um, I have to tell you guys. So if you don't see a video come out from me every Sunday, I'm okay. I'm like a ghost story. Like she's out there in them woods somewhere still camping. I'm still there. I'm still fine. But I just have to take a break because let me tell you about this year. Um, like I said, I've been on the road for five years, but this year was the craziest year I've ever had. Um, I started out the year and went down to Arizona, camped with some friends, and then went to California for my first meetup with my patrons, which was awesome. We're having another one this February. And then I raced back because, as some of you might know, I had surgery in March. But what you might not know is that then I had like four months of complications. Now, my patrons on Patreon got the play-by-play -play on this, um, so they know all about it. But during that time, I still had to put out videos. I had contracts. I had obligations. And so I had to just keep it moving. Um, but I spent most of my summer in Colorado to have doctor's appointments. I'm all fine now. Thank you. And um, then you guys know that I went to Vegas and saw Adele. And then I went through the Midwest um, and stayed in Indiana with some friends and then went to the Pennsylvania RV show and went up into Canada and looped around and came out to Detroit. And now I'm back in Colorado. It's the holidays. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are too. I'm going to go to a holiday party tonight. And then after this video, I'm not done working because you might know that every year, at least, my book, Work From Home While You Roam, is updated. And the, the first half of the book is like all the resources for taxes and health care and how to save for retirement and how to turn your job into a remote job. But the second half of the book includes hundreds and hundreds of actual remote jobs for every kind of person with the qualifications that are needed and how much they pay and how they pay and a link to apply. So you can imagine that it takes a lot of um, follow up to make sure that those links are still good and we vet them and make sure that, you know, they're not scams or fly by night companies. And then there's chapters that are, you know, jobs for creative people and jobs for drivers and seasonal workers and all kinds of stuff. You know, if you've seen the book, you know that. Well, I'm in the final edits of that right now. So the 2024 edition will be out in a couple of weeks, but I probably won't do a video on it until February because after I get that done, I doing some stuff for my patrons. But because I don't take a break from my patrons, they get to see this mug all year long. But I'm finally going to get back to a suspense series that I've been working on for four years. And I'm really just going to sit in this tin can and write like four hours a day um, and see what I can get done with it. I'm really excited to have the time to do that, to write something um, that I've been really wanting to get at for a while. Then in February, um, I have a meetup in California with my patrons, which I'm very excited about. Um, and next year I could use your help with this. You guys really loved the Sunday morning view queue, which was my viewer question video that came out once a month. When I come back from my sabbatical, I am going to be doing that again. So I need some questions for that. So in this video down below, please give me whatever questions you have for me. You know, if it's about RV life or resources or me or jobs or whatever, and I will scour through the comments below and um, pick out the best questions. And I'll also go over to Instagram and Facebook um, and to Patreon and, and pick the best ones. And then when I come back, I'm going to do the view queue all over again. Now, you might wonder, what's coming up next year? Am I going to keep doing a video every Sunday? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? I don't know. I worked a little bit too hard recently. And you guys might know that um, I went on the road, you know, after my sister got sick and died. If you've seen my TED Talk, you know that. Um, where she said, if you had two years to live, would you keep your job? And if I had two years to live, I would still do what I'm doing because I love it. And I love the people, but I don't know that I would do it in the same way. So I don't know. I'm going to come back um, in the spring. I promise I will. And I'm going to let you guys know what's going on. And I might be raring to go and have a bunch of stuff to talk about and do videos. So please do subscribe, but hit the little bell to get notified when a new video comes out. So you know when I'm back. But I don't know. I just I just want to live the life that I want to, I want to live, which is what I always tell you guys <laughs> can be done. And, um, I have to remind myself also. And so that's, what's going on, you guys. 
Don't think there's anything wrong with me if I don't make a video. I'm just fine. And I'll see you in the spring. Put your questions below for the view queue in the spring. Patrons, I will see you soon in California. And for everybody else, please have safe, wonderful, happy, calming, delightful holidays. And I'll see you guys in 2024. Until then, everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.